Hi, right, this is form 1099-NEC. Um, it's a brand new form for 2020 and it's used for non-employee compensation. Um, if you've done this in the past, you'll remember that non-employee compensation was always uh, filed with the IRS using form 1099 miscellaneous and MISC. But this year, uh, the IRS has decided to change things. And so they've created this new form, which is used exclusively for non-employee compensation, which in some ways makes it easier because there's less fields to deal with on this form than there was on the uh, MISC. Um, so I want to show you how to electronically file this form if you want to use that option. Um, there's several reasons why you would want to do that as one is you don't have to uh, order the form from the IRS and also um, you notice here it says file with 1096 um, if you're electronically filing you don't need to fill out a 1096 so that makes things easier and um, so this form works pretty much the same as the miscellaneous form did um, you enter the uh, payers information here uh, in this case I filled it out for a uh, a restaurant a pizza restaurant um, so I have the name and the address and telephone number is required for for electronically filing and then the um, payers uh, identification number in this case they're a corporation so they have an um, employee identification number instead of a social security number and the recipients uh, number goes here this is their social security number so the recipient is sammy edwards and this is his address so there's really just one field here to fill out which is the non-employee compensation and so let's say he had thirty two two hundred and ten dollars that he received from the restaurant as a non-employee compensation um, he may have delivered uh delivered the pizza um and so he was, an he was not an employee, but he worked independently as an independent contractor. So this is the form that Sam's Pizza would use to report that amount to the IRS. Normally, um, he's not, uh, Sam's Pizza wouldn't uh, withhold any uh, income tax, so we'll leave that blank. And um, there's no state withholding either, so these are blank. So really, this is the only field that you need to worry about on this form. So now to electronically file this form, um, I've added some uh, extra fields down here to help us with that. So um, once we've got this form filled out and we're happy with the way it is, um, we need to check this box um, to uh, re review to see if there's any errors. And if there's any errors, we can resolve those. And then the other thing we need to do before we electronically file is to save the form to the disk uh, to our computer, that is, um, so that we can upload it to the IRS. So I'll go ahead and check this box. And uh, you can see that this uh, button down here uh, up here, there's no errors. And so I'm going to click on this button and it's going to prompt me to save the uh, form, um, which I'm going to, uh, I've got it saved in this video folder. And so I'm going to click here and click on save. And do you want to replace it? Um, yes, I do. So I'll do that. And now if I scroll down a little bit, I come to this question here. Is, is, is this the last form you're filing today? And are you ready to electronically file? Well, you might have three or four forms that you're filing. Um, and you only need to check this box on the very last one because we're going to ask you for some additional information. But you only need to... Uh, check the box um, on the last form that you're filing. So first let's enter your contact name. In this case it'll be Sam Jones. So I'll enter that like that. And then his phone number is uh, something like this. And then his email address will be need to enter that twice to verify it ok 
okay and then down here um, we give you an option to um, have us print and mail copy B for you so you don't have to uh, do that yourself if you want to do that um, check this box and then um, over here you're going to enter the number of form of forms copy B that you want us to print and mail for you so in this case we're going to enter four and the cost comes out to twenty six dollars and then finally we need to do one more error check and then we need to save our form one more time and then uh, we'll be ready to electronically file so a, a web page will open where we can do that so we click here and we get this button and then we um, need to save our form so it tells us we need to save our form and then we're going to get a web page to upload our form so we'll click OK like that and click here and save do you want to replace we'll say yes and then we get this screen now this is where we uh, are going to make our payment so that we can electronically file so in order to do that um, I need to click on here to, to um, select the right number of forms uh, but before I do that let me just uh, highlight this information here uh, after you make your payment you want to be sure to return to merchant you don't want to click the back button because if you click the back back button you won't be able to uh, upload your forms so this is how it works we uh, click on uh, four forms twenty six dollars and then we click on pay now and it'll take us to this screen where we can make our payment uh, if you don't have a PayPal account you can click here and it'll take you to a screen where you can um, file um, with your credit card. Now after I've made my payment I'm going to click return to merchant and it's going to open up this screen for me here um, where I can upload my form. So um, first I need to navigate to the uh, folder on my computer where I saved the forms at. So I'll click here and it opens up uh, Windows Explorer for me. And this is the folder where I've saved my forms. Um, you may not uh, get the folder when you first open it up. You may need to navigate it to it. But uh, for me, it opened up where I saved my forms. And so I'm going to select my first of the four forms and I'll say open. And then um, I need to check this box to prove I'm not a robot. And then I upload the form to the IRS like that. And it says successful. Um, so now I need to um, upload the other three forms. So I'm going to click here. And again, I'll choose uh, my form. This time I'm going to do the second one. Say OK and again check this box and upload and then I'm gonna um, do that for my uh, other forms here um, like that my third one and my last one is this one here So that's it. I'm done. Um, and when uh, these are accepted by the IRS, you'll receive a confirmation from us to let you know that they've been accepted by the IRS. So that's it. Thanks for listening.